that I think I, that, uh, that uh, I think that uh, there can there can be uh, no vote on this uh, suggestion by the Pakistani delegation because this vote is contrary to Rule 56. Therefore, uh, we should conclude with our business as before. I thank the dis distinguished representative of Israel. Distinguished Representative of India. Microphone, please. I, I have to excuse the um, uh, the uh, or ask the uh, distinguished representative of India if you'd mind until the the microphone is operating. 56 by the distinguished delegate of Israel. Rule 56 uh, talks of an amendment of the rules of procedure. My submission is that in this case we are not amending the rules of procedure at all. We are now taking action under Rule 31. Rule 31 itself enables us, if we so decide, to take a vote by a simple majority. We are not amending that rule at all. That rule remains. That rule enables in particular cases or whenever this House so decides to decide a matter by a simple majority. We are not amending that rule. We are only exercising the option which we have under that rule. Therefore, Rule 56 doesn't come into position at all. We will act under 31 and that 31 gives us the right to act under uh, according to a simple procedure. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yes. I, I must uh, say that uh, it is uh, my view that we are applying the rules, not amending the rules. This is a perfectly legitimate application of the rules uh, that uh, in which I uh, we have proceeded to a, a clarification. Uh, so we now have the proposal from the distinguished representative of Pakistan that all matters before this conference be handled be with a simple majority. Uh, the uh, distinguished representative of Tunisia. Oh. Thank you, Mr. President. I would ask for a roll call vote, please. D uh, did the distinguished representative of the Soviet Union have a point of order? Mr. President. I'd like to make a comment on a point of order. It seems to me that our conference reminds me of a ship which can't get into harbor. My point is that the amendment of Pakistan, which you just mentioned, changes the procedure. While we just took a decision to the effect that the question raised by the delegation of Cuba is a question of procedure and not substance. Therefore, we should operate by the rule whereby this question should be settled by a simple majority. Thank you. I thank the distinguished member from uh, the Soviet Union, but there was a first proposal by the distinguished member from Pakistan that all matters be considered uh, one of uh, the uh, decided by a simple majority, and that is the one on uh, which we uh, on uh, which we're voting. The other was on whether. I'm sorry? The 
Distinguished representative from Pakistan. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I would like to endorse uh, what the distinguished representative of uh, the Soviet Union said just now. That is precisely our, my delegation's understanding of the situation as of the moment. That the rule, rule uh, paragraph two of Rule 31 now comes into play as far as I can understand the situation. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, paragraph um, two of Rule 31 reads, unless the conference decides otherwise and except as otherwise provided, decisions of the conference on all matters of procedure shall be taken by a simple majority of the representatives present in voting. If a vote is equally divided, the motion shall be re regarded as rejected. Um, there was a call for a roll call vote by the distinguished representative of Tunisia. We're now voting, as I understand it, on whether all subsequent votes are settled by a simple majority. Well, I think we can get this over if we, if we go to the vote. All right, the distinguished representative of Ghana. Mr. President, our reading of Rule 56, which would seem to be the relevant rule in this case, suggests to us that the guidance we require is clearly and explicitly stated. Rule 56 reads, these rules of procedure may be amended by a decision of the conference by a two-thirds majority of the representatives present and voting after the general committee has reported on the proposed amendment. We do not read into this the possibility of an omnibus decision which enables us there and then to change all the rules of procedure, especially if the general committee has not had the opportunity of reporting on the proposed amendment. Our understanding of Rule 31.3 is that the application of the rule applies not in a blanket manner, to a but in a specific manner to items that are raised individually. And therefore, would suggest that we proceed item by item and apply the rules as the case might be. Thank you, sir. I thank the distinguished representative of Ghana. Uh, the, certainly my interpretation um, is that uh, the rules of procedure were not being amended, but were simply being applied. I think this obviously needs uh, cl clarification. I have said that many times. Uh, I can ask uh, uh, Mr. Marcella, our legal counsel, to express an opinion uh, to me on that. <coughs> Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I uh, hesitate to go in the, in the question from the beginning, but I think we have to uh, repeat some of the things that have already been said, namely that at the beginning the conference adopted the rule on a majority required for decisions which were taken by vote. And uh, the the first part of the rule is that the decisions of matter of substance would require a two-thirds majority and decisions on procedural matters would require only a simple majority. In the third place, if there was uh, a doubt as to whether a proposal involves a matter of substance or, a procedure or simply a matter of procedure, that question uh, either could the president could rule on it 
under Rule 16, or he could put it immediately to the conference for decision. Now, these rules have a built-in provision that the conference can, as it is very clearly stated, unless the conference decides otherwise. Therefore, no amendment of the rule is required. It is simply an application of the uh, first proviso, which is in both paragraphs one and paragraph two. Uh, I think, therefore, that uh, the rule 56 is not involved here. Uh, the only question that needs clarification, I think, is what is the exact proposal now before the meeting? Because first we had a proposal that all okay. future decisions be taken insofar as they are not taken by unanimity or by consensus. All decisions taken by voting would require only a simple majority. Then the proposer of that proposal, as I understood it, said that uh, his proposal was of a mo much more limited scope, namely that the Cuban proposal was a matter of procedure and not a matter of substance. So I think the, uh, what, what we really require is a, is a clarification of what proposal we have before us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. But, uh, but as far as the rule on the uh, majority required, I think it's quite clear. Thank you. Okay. Um, I, I, the distinguished representative of Pakistan has a point of order. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to clarify my own proposal, which was that all amendments that we consider be um, voted upon. Uh, the the two-thirds rule should not apply to them. My, my proposal was not a general one for all uh, 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 decisions of the, uh, of the conference. And I reiterate that my proposal was restricted to um, uh, uh, vote on the amendments that come up for consideration of the, uh, of the council. Thank you, Mr. President. I think that's perfectly right. I think the uh, distinguished uh, uh, delegate from Pakistan did propose that all amendments be dealt with by a simple uh, majority. And uh, if it's dealing with all amendments that do arise, not all proposals, or all, all actions of, of the conference. The distinguished representative of Algeria. As a matter of fact, it was I who, on behalf of the Algerian delegation, who had asked, uh, with respect to 31, paragraph 1, which provides, unless the conference decides otherwise, decisions of the conference and all questions. I asked whether we were to understand the Pakistani proposal as referring to decisions of the conference. I repeat my proposal. I propose that it be voted upon. Uh, the distinguished represent uh, I thank the distinguished rep representative of Algeria and call upon the distinguished representative of Zambia. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to, to seek clarification on the voting that we have just uh, disposed of. Uh, what is the interpretation? You put the question to us whether uh, the matter uh, raised the Cuban amendment is a matter of substance or not, and we've voted. Uh, is the vote uh, to be interpreted according to simple majority or two-thirds majority? This is the clarification I, I want on the vote we've just uh, made. The vote now is on whether or not future amendments will be dealt with, uh, all future amendments, whether of substance or otherwise, will be dealt with uh, by a simple majority.
the distinguished um, representative of Beck Wayne. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Uh, I refer to Rule 33 uh, regarding the method of voting. The distinguished representative of Tunisia have called for recall. And according to, and according to Rule 33, it specifically st uh, states and stress, a representative may request a roll call, which shall then be taking an English alphabetical order. Uh, and I'd like to stress the point, which shall then be, which means if someone actually asks for re roll call, immediately that roll call should be put into uh, effect and a vote takes a place. Now, that uh, uh, roll call being in suspensions, and we are not very sure where we are. Thank you very much, Mr. President. The distinguished representative by Iran has uh, raised the point that it is put, the only point that a point of order can be raised uh, on, on a vote, when a vote uh, on, on the voting procedure in connection with the procedure of the vote, and that is what is being discussed in various points of order. Uh, but the, um, when a roll call vote is, is requested, it should be called immediately and in alphabetical order. Uh, the distinguished representative of France. Monsieur le Président. I should like to make two comments on what we are now involved in. My first observation is that when we intend to vote on the question whether, as from now on, all decisions taken by this conference will be adopted by a simple majority, we are then changing subject matter. The subject matter before the House is the Cuban Amendment and the Pakistani proposal, if I have understood correctly, is not the Pakistani proposal. It is not his intention to change our voting system. In other words, to imply Article 31, Paragraph 1, and it is merely his proposal is that we vote by a simple majority. This applies only to the Cuban Amendment. This is my first comment. My second comment, Mr. President, is that I have never seen in a conference, and that this is not serious, but with respect to an amendment which splits the conference, that people take advantage of it to change a rule. I'm not speaking of the rules of procedure, but a rule of procedure, that, that if you wanted to do this, it should have been at the beginning of the conference or at the beginning of a plenary, but not with respect to a specific subject. And I re come back to what I said originally, that we are changing our subject matter, and I have never seen this before. Thank you, sir. I thank the distinguished representative of, of France. Uh, the uh, proposal, however, as I understand it, and as uh, clarified by distinguished advisors and legal counsel, is that um, we are now voting on the Pakistan proposal, which followed that of Cuba, uh, that all amendments be uh, settled with a simple majority. Now, I think we should proceed to that vote on a, on a roll call vote, starting with. Senegal. We will start from Senegal, sir. What we are voting now is that amendments will be taken from now on by simple majority. And I'm calling now for that decision the Senegalese delegation. Senegal.
Mais... S'il vous plaît, Monsieur le Président. I am sorry, I have not really understood. The Federal Republic. Mr. President, I'm sorry, but I really think we're not proceeding in a serious manner. I wish to and I must support the views expressed by my distinguished colleague from France. It seems to me that the nature of the amendment by Pakistan has not really been understood, even though it has been clarified, and I'm grateful for this, for this clarification. If you read Rule 31, Paragraph 3, you will find, you will find, subject to Rule 16, if the question arises whether a matter Mr. President, a matter, not a number of matters, not matters. What we are, have to deal with on the basis of the Pakistani amendment are matters and not a matter. So that is clearly a case where Rule 56 is applicable. My distinguished colleague from France is quite right. If we were to proceed issue by issue Amendment by amendment. I'm sorry, I must interrupt the representative of the distinguished, uh, the distinguished representative of the Federal Republic of Germany. Uh, if uh, I thought it was a point of order, I it don't is. think it. Uh, it uh, doesn't sound to me like a point of order. Uh, it's uh, it's it's a clarification, but not on the point of order itself. With respect, Mr. President, it is a point of order because it is related directly to our method of voting. And that it is why it is a point of order that I can bring here under Rule 35. And this was what I was trying to do. Thank you. I thank the representative of the Federal Republic of Germany and call on the distinguished representative from Pakistan. Sorry, the distinguished representative of Libya. Thank you, Mr. President. The point of order which I should like to raise is the following. You have put the Pakistani up for vote. We have started to vote, and I even think that the Secretary invited the delegation of Senegal to vote. Therefore, my point of order is the following. The delegation of the Federal Republic of Germany should not have intervened when the vote has started. And therefore, I would propose that we start the vote. My uh, ruling, because it was not a vote, uh, a point of order in connection with the uh, vote as required by the rules, in my view, and I think we should continue with the vote. Senegal. Absent. No, come on. Hmm? Absent. Senegal. Je voudrais savoir quelle est la. What is the question? question which you have asked distinguished delegate of Senegal are you bon alors je vous parle en français i shall speak in french are you voting in favor of the pakistani proposal do you vote for or against or do you abstain on the pakistani proposal we vote in favor of the pakistani proposal the chair i thank you Sierra Leone. Yes. Sierra Leone. Yes. Yes. Singapore. Pension. Abstention. 
Somalia, yes. Spain, no. Spain, no. Sri Lanka, yes. yes. Sudan, yes. Swaziland, Swaziland, absent. Sweden, no. no. Switzerland, no. no. Syrian Arab Republic, yes. yes. Thailand, no. no. Togo, absent. absent. Trinidad Tobago, yes. yes. Tunisia, Yes. Turkey. Yes. Uganda. Yes. Ukraine SSR. Yes. Union Soviet Socialist Republic. Yes. United Arab Emirates. Yes. United Kingdom. No. United Republic of Cameroon, yes. United Republic of Tanzania, yes. United States, no. Upper Walta, yes. Uruguay, Uruguay, absent. Venezuela, no. Yemen, yes. Yugoslavia, yes. Zaire, yes. Zambia, yes. Afghanistan, yes. Algeria, yes. Angola, Angola, absent. Argentina, abstention. Australia, no. Austria, no. Bahamas, absent. Bahrain, yes. Bangladesh, yes. Barbados, Absent. Belgium. No. Benin. Yes. Bhutan. Absent. Bolivia. Abstention. Botswana. Yes. Brazil. Abstention. Bulgaria. Yes. Burma, absent. Burundi, absent. Belarusian SSR, yes. Canada, no. Central African Republic, abstention. Chad, yes. Chile. No. Colombia. Colombia. Absent. Congo. Yes. Costa Rica. No. Cuba. Yes. Cyprus. Yes. Czechoslovakia. Yes. Democratic Yemen. Yes. Denmark. No. Dominican Republic. Yes. Ecuador. Yes. Egypt. Yes. El Salvador. El Salvador. Absent. Fiji. Absent.
Finland, abstention. France, no. Gabon, yes. Gambia, absent. German Democratic Republic, yes. Federal Republic of Germany, no. no. Ghana, no. Greece, yes. Granada, absent. Guatemala, no. Guinea Bissau, absent. Guyana, yes. Haiti, absent. Pol Policy, absent. Honduras, abstention. Hungary, yes. India, yes. Indonesia, yes. Iran, yes. Iraq, yes. Ireland, no. Israel, no. Italy, no. Ivory Coast, yes. Jamaica, abstention. Japan, no. Jordan, yes. Kenya, yes. Kuwait, President, the voting is finished. Now I'll be counting and I'll give the result. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> well, sometimes secretary gets also excited. Sorry, sir. Losoto. Liberia. Abstain. Libyan Arab Republic. Yes. Luxembourg, no. Madagascar, yes. Malaysia, yes. Mali, yes. Mauritania, yes. Mauritius, yes. Mexico, yes. Monaco, absent. Mongolia, Yes. Morocco. Yes. Mozambique. Absent. Nepal. Absent. Netherlands. No. New Zealand. No. Nicaragua. Absent. Niger. Absent. Nigeria. Niger? Nigeria, yes. Norway, no. Oman, Pakistan, yes. Panama, yes. Papua New Guinea, Paraguay, no. Peru, Peru, abstention. Philippines, Philippines, yes. Poland, yes. Portugal, no. Qatar, yes. Republic of Korea, absent. Romania, abstention. Rwanda, absent. Saudi Arabia, yes. This time is finished, sir.
Mr. Chairman, the result of the vote is as follows. 69 in favor of the proposal of Pakistan, 28 against, and 11 abstention. I now call the, uh, for the vote on the proposal contained in document A stroke conf 70 L3, proposed by the distinguished representative of Cuba. Those in favor of proposal L3, please raise their hands. A roll call is, is uh, demanded. And we will proceed. President, on addition of L3, a roll call has been requested, and the roll call will start. From Ukrainian USSR. Now I'm calling for. Point of order uh, on the voting procedure by Cuba. Thank you. We are now voting upon document A, CONF 70 stroke L3, which is an amendment proposed, or rather it is a proposed additional paragraph to the preamble to recommendation B. We should like to clarify one point. There may have been a mistake in th this document. And before the word planning, we should have the word number seven, because that was the amendment, the original amendment. In other words, this paragraph, which we are now voting upon, would be introduced as number seven in the preamble of, of section B. Thank you. Fine, I thank the distinguished uh, representative of Cuba. We shall now proceed with the vote. I'm asking the vote from Ukrainian SSR. Yes. Union Soviet Socialist Republic. Yes. United Arab Emirate. Yes. United Kingdom. No. United Republic of Cameroon. Yes. United Republic of Tanzania. Yes. United States, no. Upper Walter, yes. Uruguay, Uruguay, absent. Venezuela, abstain. Yemen, yes. Yugoslavia, yes. Zaire, yes. Zambia, yes. yes. Afghanistan, yes. Algeria, yes. yes. Angola, absent. Argentina, Argentina, absent. Australia, abstention. Abstention. Austria. Abstention. Abstention. Bahamas. Absent. Bahrain. Yes. Bangladesh. Yes. 
Barbados, absent, Belgium, abstention, Benin, yes, Bhutan, absent, Bolivia, abstention, Botswana, yes, Brazil, yes, Bulgaria, yes, Burma, Burma, absent, Burundi, absent, Bielorussian SSR, yes, Canada, no, Central African Republic, yes, Chad, yes, yes, Chile, abstention, abstention, Colombia, yes, Congo, oui, yes, Costa Rica, absent, Cuba, yes, <laughs> yes, Cyprus, yes, Czechoslovakia, yes, Democratic Yemen, yes, Denmark, abstention, Dominican Republic, yes, Ecuador, yes, Egypt, yes, yes, El Salvador, El Salvador, absent. Fiji, absent. Finland, yes. yes. France, no. No. Gabon, oui. yes. Gambia, absent. absent. German Democratic Republic, yes. Yes. Federal Republic of Germany, no. No. Ghana, yes. Yes. Greece, yes. Yes. Grenada, absent. Guatemala, absent. Guinea Bissau, absent. Guyana, yes. Haiti, absent. Holy See, absent. Honduras, Honduras, abstention. Hungary, yes, India, yes, Indonesia, yes, Iran, yes, yes, Iraq, yes, yes, Ireland, abstention, abstention, Israel, no, no, Italy, abstention, abstention, Ivory Coast, yes, yes, Jamaica, yes, yes. Japan, yes, yes, Jordan, yes, yes, Kenya, yes, yes, Kuwait, yes, yes, Losoto, yes, yes, Liberia, abstention, abstention. Libyan Arab Republic, no, yes, Luxembourg, abstention, abstention. Madagascar, yes, Malaysia, yes, Mali, yes, Mauritania, yes, Mauritius, yes, Mexico, yes, Monaco, absent, Mongolia, yes, Morocco, yes, Mozambique, Absent. Nepal. Absent. Netherlands. No. No. New Zealand. Abstention. Abstention. Nicaragua. Absent. Niger. Absent. Nigeria. Yes. Yes. Norway. Abstention. Abstention. Oman. Yes. Yes, Pakistan. 
Yes. Yes. Panama. Yes. Papua New Guinea. Yes. Yes. Paraguay. No. Paraguay. No. No. Peru. Abstention. Peru abstention. Philippines. Yes. Yes. Poland. Yes. Portugal. Abstention. Abstention. Qatar. Yes. Yes. Republic of Korea. Absent. Romania. Yes. Rwanda. Absent. Saudi Arabia. Yes. Yes. Senegal. Oui. Yes. Sierra Leone. Absent. Singapore. Yes. Yes. Somalia. Yes. Yes. Spain. Abstention. Abstention. Sri Lanka. Yes. Yes. Sudan. Yes. Switzerland. Absent. Sweden. Abstention. Abstention. Switzerland. Abstention. Abstentions. Syrian Arab Republic. Yes. Yes. Thailand. Abstention. Thailand abstention. Togo. Absent. Trinidad Tobago. Yes. Yes. Tunisia. Yes. Yes. Turkey. Yes. Yes. Uganda. Yes. Yes. Mr. President, the voting on this matter is finished now. I'll do the counting and allowance, the result of the voting. Mr. President, the result of the voting is as follows. Seventy-seven for, eight against, and 20 abstentions. This vote now means that um, uh, the amendment, uh, A Comp 70 L3, becomes paragraph 7 on page 16 of A Conference document 70 stroke 10. And uh, paragraph 7 then becomes paragraph 8, 8 becomes 9, and 9 becomes 10. Uh, in explanations of uh, vote, is it a point of order and explanation of vote? Uh, the, uh, I think that uh, we should handle this immediately after. Uh, on a, is it on a point of order, uh, distinguished representative Argentina, or in an explanation of vote? 
Mr. President, simply to place on record that if my delegation had been present, we would have voted in favor of the Cuban amendment. Thank you, sir. I thank the uh, distinguished representative from Argentina. Uh, if there are any explanations uh, of vote, uh, they can be handled immediately after a suspension, which I'm calling for 10 minutes.